Lakini ndako Nalingio masikito kwenye wangu ana Problem is on fire Musiki sante mara Hapana mtazama Thank you, thank you, Tazama. Thank you, Tazama Band. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have our national anthem done by our county choir. Please, county choir, national anthem. Let's uh, remain standing for a word of prayer from our chaplain. All heads bowed, please. King of kings, Lord of lords, he who dwells in the heavenlies above, hallowed be thy name today and forevermore. It has behooved you, Lord, to spare our lives, thus giving us this brand new day that may we may partake of the same. Glory and honor be unto you. Without circumlocuting, dear loving master, today in the county of Homer Bay, history has been made that a piece of land and plot that has been lying fallow since independence is today hosting a modern health facility. Lord, we ascribe this to your doing. And so, as we conglomerate here this morning to celebrate your goodness, we pray for your divine blessings upon our two excellencies who have worked day and night to ensure that this dream comes to a reality. Bless the County Assembly of Homa Bay, led by our Honorable Speaker. Lord, we want to invoke your presence to be in our midst. Be with us until we come to the logical conclusion of this sitting and of this meeting this day. For this is my humble prayer this morning in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Somebody say amen. amen. Thank you very much. Let's all get seated. To Our Excellency the Governor of Oma Bay, Honorable Gladys Yasunawanga. Deputy Governor Honorable Yugi Magwanga, Speaker of the National Assembly, Ministers, Directors, Members of the County Assembly, all protocol observed, 
I would like to take this opportunity to introduce our entertainment for today, and I'll call the Tazama Band to come forward and belt their first song. Thank you, Tazama. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> uh, Your Excellency, thank you for the opportunity and uh, having the opportunity to be witnesses as we have uh, the commemoration of uh, this great facility. We at Ozama Band, we come from Oyugi's Pacho. <laughs> and we are also from Omabe. One Joe Pacho. And uh, we want to sing a song that... Uh, we wrote like three days ago, yeah, uh, just to appreciate what the, your excellency you've been doing to make this county a greater place for us to stay. I'll see you. <laughs> Thank you. The song is called Losai. Iromoro ane no kwa kuboche polo Iromoro ane no kwa kuboche polo Si me moro anana robi Si me moro awinjo anana robi Mani nyisa odongo duoke pacho Mani nyisa odongo duoke pacho Nyasuna tinde loso dalawani Nyasuna tinde loso dalawani Osip tinde ogero tiyo mabe Osip tinde ogero tiyo mabe Nyaka yende yudo tetete Nyaka yende yudo tetete Nyakandara ogero iringo mabe Nyakandara ogero iringo mabe Ajeno lose, ajeno lose Lose dalawani lose Ajeno lose, lose Lose dalawani lose Ajeno lose, lose Lose dalawani lose Ajeno lose, lose Lose dalawani Debi unajua ukikata hiyo waya Atutanunua Ndalom miya mose kalo Atendo nene wa mipacho Neni singo ibi orito Tuke niti mokaka nichiko Nalomi ya useko kalo Atieno yoyo Atieno nene wa mipachoni Neni singo ibi orito Kenditi mokaka nitiko Atieno lose dalawani Lose Atieno lose dalawani Lose dalawani Lose Atieno lose dalawani Lose dalawani Lose Atieno lose dalawani Lose dalawani Lose Lose Atieno lose dalawani Atieno lose dalawani Atieno lose dalawani Atieno lose dalawani Atieno lose Atut, 
Next on stage is our own county choir, who is going to build also. They are going to build one song for us. Then we'll proceed with the next program. Thank you. County choir. County Teaching Referral Hospital. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No one a county water. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Tofanya kwa ono yaho. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wa 
wafanyi kazi hawa oye oye mishahara kwa mpigo oye oye siku mia moja imesimia tangu serikali mpya ya kaunti anze kazi tumeshuhudia mabadiliko Tunajivunia kuma beli yetu kaunti ya pendeza kweli ya kuzia Tunajivunia kuma beli yetu kaunti ya pendeza kweli ya vutia Nitaitokoza nitailinda maisha ni mwangu Nita itokoza nita ilinda maisha ni mwangu kwenye uchago zitole mchago wa gavana wa kike mkoa wa nyanza kwenye uchago zitole mchago wa gavana wa kike mkoa wa nyanza nita itokoza Nitahilinda maisha ni mwangu Nitaitokoza nitahilinda maisha ni mwangu Kifika la ambwe tiga wazorora Kifaru yupale na ndege wa anga Kifika la ambwe tiga wazorora Kifaru yupale na ndege wa anga Nita itokoza Nita ilinda Maisha ni mwangu Nita itokoza Nita ilinda Maisha ni mwangu Thank you very much. Let's give a round of applause please. That's our own governor's choir, county choir. At this moment in time, because of uh, uh, the few minutes we have, I would like to call the uh, Chief of Staff, Mr. Charles Odiambo, to come forward and take it from here. Mr. Charles, please come forward. Asante Erastas. Mwishmua Governor, Mwishmua Naibu Governor, Mawaziri Wote, na Wageni Wote wa Heshma. Ni Fursa Njema sana tuliopata hii leo, ya mheshimiwa governor kuweza kukadiria yale ambayo ameyatekeleza katika siku mia moja zilizopita na sisi kama wakazi wa Homa Bay mheshimiwa governor tuna furaha isiyo kifani tunashukuru sana na tunawakaribisha nyote ambao mmefika hapa bila kupoteza wakati ningependa kumwalika sasa waziri anayesimamia masuala ya matibabu aje atu akaribishe hapa manake yeye ndiye Mwenyeji wa wageni. Waziri Roslyn. Your Excellency the Governor, 
the Deputy Governor, the Speaker of the County Assembly, the Leader of Majority, my colleagues, CECs, members of the County Assembly present, the Board of the Referral Hospital, invited guests, your Excellency, I beg to not follow in Charles's footsteps because I'll not be able to speak a word that you'll understand. Uh, it gives me great pleasure. Today is not a day for speeches. We are very grateful for the transformation that this hospital has undergone in these few days. Uh, I just want to say, Your Excellency, that we have received the gift hampers from your office and they've been distributed to all the patients. And we just want to thank you for that gesture. Could we give a round of applause of appreciation? Uh, in the interest of time, I want to quickly call the board of the referral hospital to come forward, led by the chair and also the chief officer held, because you're part of the board. Just come forward uh, for a quick introduction. And then I'll ask the CEO to say just a few words about his experience. Your Excellency, uh, the Governor of Mwabe County, uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, the Speaker of County Assembly, the CECs, and the Chief Officers and Guests, good morning. Uh, Your Excellency, allow me to thank you for choosing Mwabe Hostel to tell the county what you've done in your 100 days in the office. We want to Thank you so much for the privilege and honor. And I know this is just an indication of good gesture coming for, to our stall. We will welcome you and uh, support all the visions uh, that you have for the hostel and for the people of Omabe County. Uh, Your Excellency, because of time, allow me to introduce the board members. My name is Joseph Mitito, the chairman of Omabe uh, Referral and Teaching Hostel. Uh, and I have my board members here. I'll just mention their names and you wave. I have our vice chair, Madam Caroline, Sister Caroline. I have uh, uh, El Dotado, who is in charge of finance. I have Madam Afwadi, uh, who is also representing uh, the community in the board. I have my sister uh, Rose from Kasipulka Bondo representing the community. Ruth, Ruth sorry. Wave. Then I have the CEO who is going to talk to us, uh, who is the secretary to the board. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Uh, Excellency, the governor, the deputy governor, uh, speaker of the county assembly, uh, the CEC is present, uh, all protocols observed. My name is Peter Ogola, uh, the CEO of the county referral hospital. I'll be very brief because of time. Uh, just reiterate the gratitude. Uh, that uh, the board be, uh, represent, the board chair, the representative of the community has repeated uh, that we have been chosen as a centerpiece for the 100 days uh, that Her Excellency has, has been in, uh, in government. I know there are many, many other achievements and it's a privilege for us to be the showcase. This building you're seeing behind here is not only a beautiful thing, I can assure the public, uh, the, the, the people of Homer Bay, that it is quite practical. This is just the face. It extends quite a bit behind there. Well designed, and it, it is going to achieve, achieve what it is intended for. So we are looking forward to receiving our clients, and we have been receiving them in large numbers, Your Excellency. In the last three months, patronage of this hospital has more than tripled. Uh, it is, it is, it, you can see it uh, when you walk in. You can see it when you, when you, when you walk into the wards. And this is just, it's just because the confidence, the confidence that the ex county executive has prioritized health and is not only prioritizing, but is following up on that priority. So we are looking forward to more and more things that uh, the rest, I'm sure, are going to be made clear uh, in due course. Thank you very much, and welcome all to this facility. Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, we, are, we have Dr. Osuri, Kevin Osuri, the Chief Officer of Health, just with. Your Excellency, right behind there, and uh, all our guests, that is the CT scan. That is not an empty box. For those who want to tell stories, that is the CT scan, and it is the first ever. And so health services is going to not only improve, but 
we are going to have the correct diagnostics and we are going to treat people the way we should. Your Excellency, what Dr. Gola did not say is we assumed erroneously that during Christmas, people would want to discharge their patients and take care of them at home. That is not the case. We are actually running out of many things and I can assure you that myself and my team, we shall have no Christmas because we have patients for Christmas and we are going to take very good care of them. Today was not a day for many speeches, so with those very few remarks, I want to welcome all of you for this day. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you very much, Waziri, and uh, the hospital board and the health team. Your Excellency, it's now my humble honor and pleasure to invite the chairperson of the 100 Days Task Force team to come and make a few remarks, as well as introduce members of his team. Ben Omolo. Your Excellency, uh, the Governor, the Deputy Governor, uh, the Speaker of the County Assembly, Majority Leader, CECs, members of the 100 Days Task Force, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to stand here on my behalf and on behalf of all the 100 Days Task Force. First and foremost, uh, Your Excellency, is to give our appreciation for appointing us to lead and support the work around the 100 Days Task Force. Before I go far, I would like to take a few minutes to just introduce my members, um, the 15 member Task Force members, uh, those who are here to kindly come forward for introduction. Um, Governor, this team here, some of us are not here. We are only, uh, I think, uh, eight. We were 15 in number, um, starting with uh, myself, Ben Omolo, the chair of this task force. Uh, we had vice chair, which is Grace Mercy, who also happens to be a CEC in the office of the governor. Uh, Susan Otiende, who is our secretary, and um, we also have um, Honorable Priscilla Yokabi, who is not here today uh, for various reasons, but has worked uh, very closely with us and uh, worked tirelessly to deliver our agenda. We also have um, uh, Jerry Ougo and uh, Ron. Angelo, Tobias, uh, Antipas, Samuel, Wilf Wilson, Alphonse is not here. Uh, Solomon is also not here. Solomon Obiero is also our CEC for finance. Uh, our country secretary, uh, Professor Mook. <laughs> Professor Mook, uh, Bernard Mook. And... Um, and Samuel Masiwo. So, um, you may be seated. Today, uh, Governor, we want to appreciate the honor that you took to entrust us with this noble task to deliver on your agenda for 100 days. We count it an honor because when you spoke on the 25th of August, 2022, when you gave your speech, you did give a promise to the people of Homer Bay that within 100 days, certain things were going to be implemented. 
And the last 100 days has been adrenaline filled, a lot of activities going on to ensure that that agenda is delivered. And I want to thank you and DG Magwanga for leading from the front. Because many times when you see a duck in the water swimming, you may not know the wheels or what is happening behind the water. We decided to set up a task force to support, provide oversight, coordination to ensure that the agenda is achieved. We were here on the 27th of August 2022, only two days after the inaugural speech. And this place was flat. There was nothing to, going on around here. By the time you had a plan that outpatient block will need to be put here, it was all in paper. But today we are here to celebrate and see that block in reality. Our work has been around various aspects, governance aspects, legal and uh, frameworks that need to ensure that the county is functioning the way it should. And you had all this outlined properly, how you wanted them to be done. And I must say confidently that today, if you are to look at which county has done what, I wouldn't be surprised that Homerby County would be rated number one. For the first time within 100 days, we've managed to ensure that programs that focuses on the welfare of staff are given priority. Today, the workers for the county are paid on time by the fifth of each month that never used to happen before. Today, we have launched an HR census audit to ensure that we clear the ghost workers of the county. These are all programs that you mentioned that you are very passionate about and you wanted to see them delivered within 100 days. You have done that. We have done a lot of work around the previous administration's programs that were left unfinished. The governor's office is 90% complete. Arujo Animal Feeds Factory is on course. We launched Kigoto last month, and our floor, maize milling floor, is we have our unga in the shelves today. The first county to do that. High Excellency, we do appreciate that um, it's not all easy. I do know that uh, delivering all the 83 projects within 100 days did not come easy. And so we want to appreciate the fact that we've been able to set the pace, set the standard, and initiate the progress that our fellow colleagues who work at the county will be able to take it forward to support you to ensure that the agenda that you had is fully realized. Allow me to mention a few statistics. Within 100 days, you indicated that we needed to have our revenue reformed. And um, we have managed to transform that revenue department. Today, I looked at the trend within the last 10 years, and the average collection for Homer Bay County since 2013 to today has been 100, I mean, 20, 11 million every month, which is 123 million per year. Now, 11 million every month, we just clocked 200 million in two months, which translates to 100 million per month. 
that means 100% growth in terms of revenue within 100 days. The CEO for the hospital has just said that we have triple effect. The numbers has increased three times, threefold, in the hospital. These are indicators that indicate that indeed there's been a lot of investment to ensure that the achievements and programs that were set within the first 100 days have been realized. I want to take this moment to congratulate the task force members who are here and those who are not here for the work they've done tirelessly the last 100 days. They've worked very hard, pushing the limits and ensuring that these programs are actually delivered. To this end, uh, the governor, allow me to one more time invite the 100 days team to come behind here so that we can hand over for you the report card that shows all the programs that have been achieved within the first 100 days. In this report, Governor, you'll realize that we have come up with a few recommendations, certain areas that we think may need to be um, supported for this energy and investment to continue to move forward to ensure that we are able to realize all the objects and all the desires and, the, and aspirations that you had for the county. CAC Solomon, allow me to request you to come forward. So in those remarks, Governor, allow me to hand over the 100 days task force report, which documents what we have done for the last 100 days. The DG. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chairman Ben Omolo and the task force. Yohoma Bay, team in your teach my bear, Gichiwa reporter wangs, our Kupam Negia Martin. In any watch on Ingama. Unge yo kumoae, emange yo kumo the year. Reporting iso kumoae, kaka county, kendo koro biro konyo, kaga vana goko dumbaka kindeka kinde mondo wange, nito wadwa chiko kamanade. Once again, thank you very much, team. Wagone guru si gala gala matin jokama. In the interest of time, Your Excellency Governor, allow me with humility to now invite the Honorable Speaker of the County Assembly of Homa Bay, Honorable Julius Gaya to just introduce our honorable members of parliament uh, member, members of the county assembly present and make a few remarks honorable speaker your excellency the governor of Homa Bay, governor gladys atieno nyasuna wanga your excellency the deputy governor governor joseph deputy governor your excellency joseph oyugi magwanga the leader of majority my colleague members of the county assembly, the CEC president, the chair of the board, Mr. Mitiro, the chair of the 100 days, who has just handed over, members of the public, thank you very much. Your Excellency, this is not our day, this is your day, and uh, just as we had said earlier, we have been saying that we need to be talking very little and performing like Kaliache. So I just want to introduce the members of the county assembly who are here, led by majority leader, because, yeah, and, and I invite the member of county assembly, that is Honorable Mono from Itundiek, who is the deputy leader of majority to come forward and say something. Your Excellency, Honorable 
just come close. Uh, with me here is the, my deputy, Honorable Hawking Sokomo, the MCA for Rusinga. Just wave. And then I have the chair of health committee, Honorable Victor, who comes from Kaksingri West. And then I have uh, Commissioner uh, Sophie Salim, the MCA for Lambwe. I have Honorable uh, Joanne Ogada, the MCA for, uh, uh, for Kojuach, who is a member of the health committee. I have Dr. Kochola, who was once a CEO here. Dr. Kochola is a specially elected member of county assembly. I have senior member, the pioneer member, Honorable Daniel Odongo, the MCA for North Karachuanya Ward. I have the chair of budget appropriations committee that has enabled you to allocate for you funds to make sure that this reality comes to in, in place. Honorable Jeff Ongoro, the MCA for Kanyaluo. Then I have Honorable uh, Karen Odundo, the special elected from Dewa. I have Maggie Koweje, special elected lady from Suba North. I have senior member, Honorable Susan Onyango, the MCA for Guasi South. Then I have Pauline, Mishimua Pauline, the special elected from Suba North. Just wave. Then I also have the senior member, Honorable Evrino Tieno, Special elected lady from Mobe Town. Then the far end, I have the MCA for the neighboring ward. Honorable Tony Oteo, the MCA for uh, Arujo. Next to him, just wave Honorable Oteo. Next to him, I have Honorable Owaka, who is the chair of uh, Ward Based Committee, the MCA for uh, Kanyamwako Sewe. Next is the whip majority, Honorable Bobo Bond, a senior member, the MCA for. Uh, uh, Central Kasepul, and I don't know whether this function will go on without the majority leader, but I want to say, because today is not our speech day, Honorable Richard Ogendo, the majority leader, and then I want to give Honorable the deputy leader of majority, who is a member of the county assembly representing this word, to say something. Honorable Florida. Uh, to your excellency, the governor, uh, the Deputy Governor, uh, members of the Executive Wing, my colleagues in the County Assembly of uh, Homa Bay, members of the Fourth Estate, and members Mag Homa Bay Central Ward. Good morning. The Central Ward Beunka. Beune no tichmutiore. We are happy and we really appreciate the facelift that we have seen today at uh, the referral hospital. We didn't expect this to, at least after only 100 days, to feature in my ward. I don't think I'm going to say much because I'm overjoyed. And this, uh, I would only like to place my gratitude to, the, uh, to our governor, the deputy governor, for the good work that is going on. Otherwise, I want to say thank you so much and I welcome everybody to Homer Bay Central Ward. Homer Bay Central Ward is a very unique ward that hosts most of the uh, headquarters that we have around. This is my ward that we are now seeing very many tarmac roads going on. And in fact, I, I want to say that when we shall be meeting at as, uh, the Homa Bay Central Ward people, we shall have a lot to say. And we shall have a special day to thank the governor and the deputy governor for the work that they have done in our ward. Otherwise, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Florida. Your Excellency, allow me to just call upon some members of the county assembly who are served before who are here. That means they cherish or they love what is going on. Me the former members of the county assembly who are here, just wave. I've seen Honorable Guang, Honorable Dada. Yes, thank you. Your Excellency, today is a very short day for you. I know you are very much committed. But I just want to say and reiterate that as an assembly, We'll work close, hand in hand, to make sure that you achieve the dreams. The budget of the county assembly, I mean the budget of the health department, is three quarters of the total budget of the entire Oma Bay County. It's about 2.8, 2.9 2 billion out of the 8 billion that we have. So that means that health is a very key department to our government, and we'll continue making sure that whatever location that you need, to make sure that the governor achieves her dream on matters health, 
we will be supporting the assembly. And therefore, I want to say, without we want to just assure you that as an assembly, we'll work hand in hand to make sure that you achieve your goals or your dreams, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Your Excellency the Governor, I know if we had time, the benefit of time, the majority leader would have had to say something, but time is not on our side. And I wish to now honorably request the Deputy Governor, Honorable Joseph Oyugi Magwanga, to come and make a few remarks before inviting you to give your speech. Excellency Deputy Governor. Thank you, Master of Ceremony. Uh, Your Excellency, Governor of Homer Bay, Honorable Gladys Atieno Nyasona, uh, the CEC members present, the task force members present, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Honorable Julius Gaya, the honorable members of county assembly, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning again. Let me take this opportunity to thank God first for giving us this opportunity to be here this morning. It is actually a very, very important day for the people of Homer Bay. And uh, I can remember that we walked in this county, we transversed it, we campaigned, and then we came into the office on 25th of August 2022, and we started work. And Your Excellency, I want to say that today, it's a very, very, very important day for the people of Homer Bay to note. It is a day that people have been waiting to see, to hear, to feel, and the day has come. And this is actually your day, not actually my day. And before I say something, I'll actually take this opportunity to invite the team that you have been able to assemble in the name of the county executive committee members that is actually forming the part of the executive. And I'll actually call them to come forward so that I introduce them officially because these are your children, these ones, um, people from Homer Bay, so you have to know them. So kindly just come forward so that these people of Homer Bay may know you. Just line up. I'll actually request you just to come and say your name so that people may hear you also. So I start from under the department. So I start with Honorable Grace Osewe in the, minister, in the office of the governor, in charge of governance. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Grace Masi Osewe. I'm from Rangwe. I am the CECM for Governance, Administration, Communication, and Evolution. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Good morning, Homer Bay. Yeah, my name is Professor Bernard Mwok. I'm the country secretary. Thank you. Next. Good morning, Asego. I am Polika Putieno Kombo, the CCM for Trade, Industry, Tourism, Cooperative Development, and Marketing. Next is Joa Salo. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Lo Joash, 
CEC member in charge of water, irrigation, sanitation, energy, environment, and climate change. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Solomon Opere. Thank you. I'm Solomon Obiero, CEC member for finance, economic planning, service delivery. Thank you. Next. Oyaure Urijo Thurwa. Oyaure Ukendo. Ani Lungani Dr. Peter Ogola. Ani Uda Sego Kanyada Ka. Ani Ema Chung Ne Law, Physical Planning, Housing, Gi Urban Development. Law and Land. Thank you. Next, Honorable Dennis. Good morning, everyone. My name is Danish Onyango. I'm the CECM in charge of roads, transport, public works, and infrastructure. Uh, I hail from uh, Kabondo Kasipul. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next is Ms. Honorable Martin Upere. My name is Martin Opere, CC member in charge of education, human capital development, and vocational training. Asante Nisana. Thank you. Next is Honorable Dr. Agili. Jotura Mama Bea Mosu Nyo Kwe Uru. Ani Lungani Dr. John Agili. Achungne Blue Economy, Fisheries, Mining, and Digital Economy. Thank you. Next is Honorable Roslyn Omolo. Good morning, everyone. Once again, my name is Roslyn Omolo, CEC for Public Health and Medical Services. Thank you so much. I'll request you to resume your seat and uh, allow me, High Excellency, to introduce also the chief officers who may actually be here. Could you kindly rise up for uh, introduction? So from here we ha from here we have uh, Mr. Sam Owego in charge of agriculture livestock. The other side we have Mr. Orero Joshua in charge of trade cooperatives. Here we have Dr. Osuri in charge of health. We have also Dr. Akeche, governance and administration. Then in the other, the, the one that, the short one is called Mr. Sam. Charles, Charles, Obondo in charge of lands. Another one. It appears some have uh, decided not to come. I don't know. Thank you. So you can resume your seats. Thank you so much. So let me just actually take this opportunity to appreciate each and everyone who has actually made it to this point. Your Excellency, let me take this opportunity to thank you for, as, for, assembling, for assembling a workforce to deliver our manifesto that we sold to the people of Homer Bay. And indeed, this team is actually a committed team. From what they have done, for within the 100 days, they have delivered. And I must appreciate each and every staff. I must appreciate each and every member of the Homer Bay County government for his or her contribution. All this have happened because of your unity, because of your cooperation, because of the coordination. That is why today we are celebrating 100, 100 days. Kindly give them a clap. If it were not actually this team, we would not be celebrating anything. So I take this opportunity to thank them. And I request all of us, 
if we can walk, talk, and work as a team to deliver for the Homer Bay the, pro the promises we did actually commit to offer to you. We did talk about health. We talked about agriculture, which will enhance food security. We talked of good roads. We talked of good governance. We talked of uh, lighting, lighting the entire Homer Bay. We talked of planting trees. We talked of supply of water. We talked of quality and affordable health care. And this is what we are for. And we are praying for all of us to be healthy and wealthy. And that is actually what we are committed to offer to the people of Homer Bay. So kindly support us in order to achieve all this. Once this is done, all of us will be celebrating together. Given that today is not my day, allow me to take this singular opportunity to invite Her Excellency to address the people of Homer Bay and the entire country on issues that we will be talking about or which has already been delivered for the people of Kenya. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Um, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Honorable A. Watch my licha, licha me war. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, um, Joseph Oyugi Magoanga. The Speaker of the County Assembly, Honorable Julius Gaya, the Majority Leader, Honorable Ogindo, the Area MCA, Honorable Monoflorita Ondiek, together with members of the County Assembly who have found time to join us here this morning, members of the County Executive Committee, the Board and Staff of the Hospital, our other members of the executive, including our chief officers and other staff, partners who are here, who found time to be here today, Jothurwa, our choir, our talented uh, band, Jodala Wamoso Uni Nyasaiber, Sechete, we are very, very happy to be here this morning. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all for finding time to join us here as we take stock of the achievements made so far since my team here and I came into office on August 25th, 2022. My DPT and I came on August 25th. The others have joined us along the way. It's now about 100 days that the people of Homer Bay County gave us a mandate to steer our county's development for the next five years and to bring along a new era of change and renewal in our county. My administration came into office understanding very well the issues and challenges affecting our county and our people. I made a promise to ensure that we bring hope to the people of Homer Bay by delivering the services that they have always expected their government to deliver on. Today I want to report that we have made progress in the past 100 days and that our county is back on track. The great county of Homer Bay will no longer be laughing stock as has been the case in the past. We promised our people that our name will be looked for from the top coming down, not from the bottom coming up. We are serious about that. We sleep and dream 
that we, we look for Homer Bay from the top, not from the bottom. Before I detail some of the programs and projects that we have rolled out in the past 100 days, allow me to take this opportunity to thank very much the County Assembly of Homer Bay for cooperation that they've accorded the county executive in delivering in the projects that we have delivered. Allow me also to thank the county executive committee for the work that they have put in and putting their first foot, best foot forward in ensuring that we deliver. Allow me in a special way to thank the 100 day task force chaired by our brother Ben Omolo for the role that they have played in helping to set the agenda for the new administration that I lead and finding a way to put together the projects proposed through my campaign manifesto and anchoring them into the county's development, government's development programs for implementation. Thank you very much. And let me say here in a special way that two months to election, you approached me, Grace approached me, and I didn't have time because I was campaigning. And she said, just give me five minutes. I told her, okay, five minutes. And then she said, we are going to be elected. And if we don't plan for what we are going to do, we are going to be confused. At that time, the campaign, so I was wondering in my heart, what is she talking about exactly? But she just said, okay, let us set up a team that can start to think about what we will achieve within the first 100 days. Then she told me, just call some people and tell them to get in touch with me. I took a few days because I was campaigning day, the whole day and the whole night. Then she reminded me and reminded me. Then I called Ben and said to Ben, why don't you join Grace in this 100 days? She's talking about the transition so that you can put together something. And I'm really grateful that we did that. Because at that time, I must confess, things were so thick that myself, I was only seeing the campaign. I couldn't see the election yet. I thought, the, I thought the, our cards were all in the air, but you believe that we were going to get elected. And because of that organization, that is why we are able to stand here today to give a report. Had we started on the day we were elected, we would probably still be fumbling to try and find the things that we can do within the first 100 days. Well, go back to Jogi for that vision that they had. Indeed, 100 days is such a short time but look, we have managed to reshape our development agenda, and we are now ready to roll on me onto mega projects and change the fa face of Homer Bay County forever. Since that day, in Ag on August 25th, we have rolled out close to 30 key projects and programs, sometimes introducing new ones and also completing the projects that the previous government uh, left behind. Our people in the health sector, our people have suffered for long because of the poor health infrastructure and poor service delivery that has been deeply rooted for a long time. This is why upon assumption of office, we stated categorically that health is a priority, a big priority for our government. Mockery photos of our Homer Bay County Teaching and Referral Hospitals outpatient department have been circulated globally in the internet. And that is why today, we are starting off by launching a reconstructed modern outpatient block just to send a message that this facility is getting ready to provide the essential services to the expectations of our people. So we chose to come here today. And I chose to speak here today, not looking at you, but looking ahead with this behind us. Because the picture and the image of shame for Homer Bay has been the face of this hospital. They took a photo on a day that it was looking old, before it was painted. And then it was circulated everywhere. And this picture was being compared to pictures of other hospitals across the country that are very, very developed. And that's why we said we want to change this. And some people are asking, is this the hospital, is this the Gorofa you talked about? No. Podi. Gorofa Koka Biro. Mae, we want to remove people from the outpatient unit 
so that we bring down that building and put up an accident and emergency there. So for us to remove them, they, there must be a place where they can be taken. And that is why we put up this building. Korigo lojo outpatient kacha, ike logika, imu ko odicha, duwe mara chiel wacha kogedo kacha. Duwe mara biri aboro, waduogo ka yao hospital, accident and emergency center. That is where we are going. In this 100 days, we started off by restocking our pharmacies by delivering vital pharmaceuticals and non-pharmaceuticals in all our 250 plus hospitals in the county. So far, we've invested close to 100 million to ensure drugs are available in our hospitals. Let me just make this point before I leave it. This building will be open for use by 9th of January next year. This building will be open for use by 9th of January next year. So today, they have finished the outside, but they must complete the inside, and we must put equipment inside there. So Waziri Wa Health, we are coming back here on 9th of January to officially open this building to the public. On that same day, we will also be commissioning the city scan. What is on the trailer there is a city scan machine. It arrived here this morning. We perhaps are the only county in this country that did not have a CT machine. Our people are being sent everywhere else to go and look for CT scan. So when you come here to the hospital, you're told pay for ambulance to go for CT scan in Kisi, or go for CT scan in Kisumu, or go for CT scan in Migori. From 9th of January, that will no longer be the story. The, our CT scan will be here. We have put up a building. We need time for it to be removed from the box, set up, uh, for people to be trained to use it, and that is why it will begin to be used on 9th. I'm saying that because I don't want tomorrow for people to come here tomorrow and say, no, Washington no siptalo yao angomi o podo timenade, podo lore. That is why I'm giving you that date, and we will be here to do that. Our railroad unit at Homer Bay County Referral Hospital is now back in operation. We are now recording several dialysis patients on a daily basis. It's operational, and I want to thank the hospital administration for ensuring that the dialysis unit is working. Um, services will soon be restored at Homer Bay County, and T County Teaching and Referral Hospital's Cancer Center with relevant services, uh, where relevant services will now be offered from here. Uh, we are focusing on our blood bank and our dental unit, which we are putting a lot of focus on, and our people can now get all these treatments from here. Some of our 24 laboratories that had functionally collapsed in various hospitals in the county have been supplied with new high-quality biochemistry, hematology, and urine, urine analyzer machines to support the, um, dialysis uh, to support laboratory services. We have also we are also driving completion of Ramula Theatre so that we can have it into operation as soon as possible. We have opened Seka Kamser and Kibuogi, and now they are op operational. We have also in the last hundred days opened the Sena um, Level Four Hospital Theatre, and the first operation was conducted on the island of Fangano on 20th October this year on Mashuja Day. Other major developments will be rolling out in our hospitals around the county in the next few months. We will also be working towards bringing on board key specialists to make this facility and our other facilities even much more reliable. In education, we have set aside 130 million together with the county assembly to fund our bursary program and our new Fins to Swim Governor Scholarship Fund. A total of 30 million will support fully fund, a fully funded scholarship kitty. The beneficiaries who are basically top scorers in the KCPE national examination from confirmed poor backgrounds will be offered a full scholarship to join their dream secondary schools. I have directed the, select, the selection process for beneficiaries should start immediately. My, county, my government is rolling out a 100 million bursary, and that we've said, and will benefit 20,000 students from each of the county assembly wards, together with the MCAs who are here. 
Um, an additional 80 million for school feeding program has also been unveiled in favor of all 886 eye centers in our county. We are going to seek partnerships to help, to help us sustain this program, whose main objective is to enable us to retain many children in schools. Uh, while on education, allow me to congratulate our students and our schools for their exemplary performance in the just, conclude, just announced KCPE results. You know that the top student in the country, while received their results in Mumias, is our own son here from, is it Kakelo Kokwanyo? From Kakelo Kokwanyo Ward. Allow me to congratulate him very, very much, and also congratulate our other students for their exemplary performance. Under trade and agriculture, a maize milling project started by our predecessor had stalled for seven years. In this 100 days, Kigoto maize milling plant has been completed and commissioned. From November 5th, 2022, a new maize flour known by the brand Mokwa has been in our various stores. We hope to sustain its circulation in the coming, coming days. This is a highly impactful project meant to boost the economy of the people of Guasi, an area well known for high production of maize. It is our hope that, the, that evil, jealous, and negative political rhetoric would be kept off the Kigoto project to enable our people to gain from the benefits of its, its existence. In this one, Sufficient sympathy to the people of Guasi and Homer Bay County who have for long yearned for a leadership that can make, make things happen will be demanded. What we are saying is politics, negative politics is the surest way to fail the projects that we are bringing forward. And so we want to urge everybody, for the sake of our people, please let's keep negative politics away from our investments in the county. Let's focus politics on ourselves. We can deal with the politics. Our investments cannot deal with the politics. Let's keep it off there. <clears throat> In the coming days, the Department of Agriculture, headed by the Deputy Governor, Honorable Magwanga, will be, together with the members of the County Assembly, providing seeds and, seeds and other input to our farmers across the county in time for the uh, planting season coming ahead. We are also in the process and yesterday we started with tractors and we will also be putting a uh, focus on more tractors so that we can help our people to plow their farms and prepare them for uh, the planting season that is ahead. Homer Bay will become a county of production and not a county of consumption. And how do we become a county of production? We must produce more than we eat. If we eat more than we produce, then we are just consumers taking our money to other counties for them to benefit from it. On revenue, concerned by the explained revenue losses over the years, I set up a task force to investigate the reasons behind the dismal revenue performance in our county. I had attended the governor's induction retreat in Mombasa where I was humiliated by constant reports listing us at the bottom on the matter of our own source uh, revenue. And I'd like to thank the revenue task force that was chaired by our brother Polycap Okombo and a strong team behind him that came up with a raft of recommendations that have enabled us to put Homabe back on the path of revenue excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, interventions we put in place over the past 100 years Ah, sorry, not 100 years, over the past 100 days are beginning to pay, to pay off. We have now set new revenue targets and hoping to hit an annual, target, an annual revenue target of 1 billion shillings. Remember, I had declared a tax holiday which ended on October 5th. Up to the end of November, we recorded 201 million in, revenue, in revenues collected compared to 137 million raised in total for 12 months in the last financial year. The good revenue fortunes registered is associated with our new cashless policy, but also like to thank the health department 
because a big chunk of the revenue we collected over the last two months has also come from the health department. So out of the 200 million, 145 million has been raised by the health department and 55 million by the other departments. And for that to begin our to a health makofi, na tunataka wa endele to generate more revenue because the backbone of our revenue lies in the health department. We are now going to put in place major reforms in the sector through the creation of the Homer Bay County Revenue Board, whose recruitment is currently underway. The government has also created a one-stop shop at Usuru Center in Homer Bay Town. I'm hoping that from here we are going to Usuru Center to, to open it, uh, finance people. Um, I hope we are going to Usuru Center as we agreed to open it. Usuru Center is a one-stop shop for revenue. And Kama, Kedi, Tinga Lochu Logigeni Tekanyo, Mok Nisini, Kid one gi building plan of ni the corn the kosha the coche di kamora chiel to gigotebe do stamps to ini the tea or teach lopes eba a bank. So I hope that uh, that center is is ready. Our partner Kenya Commercial Bank has set up a desk at that center to provide support to citizens visiting to make payments. On human resource and staff welfare, as you can all remember, in this county doctors, nurses and other healthcare workers were always on parade over salary related, uh, salary delay uh, disputes. I want to report that in these 100 days, we have ensured constant timely payment of salaries before the fifth of every month. We had hoped that this month we would go home with money for Christmas. I will ask if that will be, that, I will ask if that will be possible. But at least even if not for Christmas, at least New Year, what wakwena mishahara. Residents who are being compelled to seek medical services in neighboring counties can now happily get services here and as the era of parades is now gone. Staff welfare is key in my government and early in the year we will be enrolling all our staff under an enhanced NHIF cover. Things can only get better. Even as, even as we do, our resolve to ensure a disciplined workforce remains in focus. We have procured the, a professional human resource firm, PricewaterhouseCoopers, to undertake a payroll and staff audit for us. We must weed out illegitimate workers and their agents, as I promised on day one. Headcount and biometric registration of all staff already kicked off on November 7th, 2022. We are continuously receiving your feedback on the process and improving the process on a day-to-day -day basis so that we get the best results. On the third generation county integrated development plan, 2022 to 2027, to plan properly for our future development, my administration rolled out a village-to-village -village public participation to collect views on projects and programs that people want our government to fund. Within this 100-day period, my teams have been in every village in the county as we develop a plan in which we will rely, on which we will rely to undertake both major and minor projects as suggested by the people. Our village to village public participation model has rekindled hope that the people are indeed supreme. Once the final report on the CIDP is tabled before the assembly early in the year, it will guide our development priorities for the next five years. On partnerships, realizing the potential of partnerships my administration has been working to reestablish bilateral connections with development partners. We are leaving nothing to chance in our resolve to work closely with partners to unlock uh, our potential in the water sector, value chains, and climate change, among others, for the county. We have had roundtables with the EU and Western ambassadors, as well as bilateral talks with other development partners, such as the World Bank, the embassies of Netherlands, Sweden, among others. We are ready to meet our obligations in each and every partnership that we developed. In fact, in the last week, we received a visit for four days by the Netherlands, the ambassador from the Netherlands who also joined us for the Jamhuri Day celebrations, which was good. On governance and good corporate standing, governance is another area we have been preoccupied with. We are serious about weeding out corruption and its agents from our midst and that is why we have introduced the cashless revenue collection. To underline our resolve on this, we are, develop, we are developing a project management dashboard 
from where authorized officers will be able to record project profiles and monitor them. I will be able to access this portal daily uh, to see what our staff are doing and the progress made in implementation of projects. I've also created a governor's service delivery and monitoring and evaluation unit that reports directly to my office. In the coming days, we shall be strengthening our monitoring and evaluation of projects through the same unit to ensure the public get value for every project initiated. We are, we are doing our best to ensure information regarding tendering is transparent, and we are working to ensure we improve the way we communicate with the public. That is why we are setting up a revamped website where people can access all information they want about the government and also provide feedback when they want, as well as receive necessary digitized services. To back up this, we, are, we will be setting up a toll-free number where citizens can report corruption and other incidents that need government and the governor's uh, attention. On this issue of governance, we have also said that onge project mi bro team ka onge gi PMC. PMC teach neno ni PMC o ay community and project management committee. Gin jo community maneno ka kiti mo project no. Koro ki geron dara to jo community nyaka go say ni dara no ger ma ber eka contractor biro ma bay manyo pesa mondo chule mar dara no. Mano ber ko sorachi. On lakefront development, our county boasts of Lake Victoria. The freshwater lake as a major source of livelihood, hence the blue economy sector is a key driver for our county's economic transfor transformation. We host the longest beach line along Lake Victoria compared to other counties in Kenya. Actually, Homer Bay has 80% of Kenya's Lake Victoria, 80%. The other 20% is shared by Busia, Kisumu, Siaya, and Migori. We are the ones with the longest beach of Lake Victoria. These 100 days have been working on a plan to develop our waterfronts to attract investments. We have made considerable progress in our partnership with uh, the Kenya Ports Authority in redeeming and putting in place a plan to develop our waterfronts within our county to make it look like the Mombasa beachfronts as we know them. We are developing a legislative framework for formation of the Homer Bay Lakefront Development Corporation as a mechanism for governing the lakefront. We have also embarked on the creation of lakefront planning and development initiative that will promote sustainable utilization of the lakefront and turn around the economic prospects of the people living around the lake. On affordable housing in partnership with the national government through the National Housing Corporation, we have signed a memorandum of understanding to develop 400 housing units within Homer Bay Municipality as part of a larger plan to do 1,500 houses in the county. This is one of the key 100-day deliverables. As Homer Bay County is among the, few counties, among the few first counties to join the affordable housing program being implemented by the State Department of Housing, the county government has availed 6.6 .6 acres of land um, for the development of houses in the first phase of the project. Thank you. Some 400 houses will be constructed under the first phase of the project funded by the National Housing Corporation. I think those will be 110 houses initially. Climate change is a global issue with far-reaching effects in our own backyard. Our county and country is hosting a globally acknowledged, acknowledged second largest freshwater lake that has now turned into an icon of water pollution and suffered from the impact of raging global warming. Your governor have been knocking every door to ask the world to save us from the impact of global warming. To this end, we are positioning Homer Bay as a climate change resilient hub in this region. I'm happy with the effort that we are putting so far, and I do, not, I, I do know partners will join us in mitigating the impact of the climate change in our county, even as we expect to benefit from the recent world leader's decision at COP27 regarding loss and damage. I want to thank our MCAs for passing the critical bills that will support our campaign to get support from development partners in, on our climate change initiatives. Recently, I launched the climate change and governance framework that includes the Homer Bay Climate Change Policy, the Homer Bay Climate Change Act, the Homer Bay County Climate Change Risk and Vulnerability Assessment Report as part of the tools required to re-engineer our participation in our climate change mitigation efforts. On roads and infrastructure, 
In the supplementary budget, the Assembly has appropriated a significant amount of resources to help us rehabilitate major roads in the villages in close working relationship with our county assembly members. We want to repair at least one major road per ward and make accessibility possible everywhere, everywhere in our county. As I conclude, I would also like to announce that before the county assembly at the moment are classification charters for four of our areas to become new municipalities. These areas are Mbita, Ndiwa, Kindube, and Oyugis to join Homa Bay in becoming a municipality. And I'd like to say that this will be a major achievement for Homa Bay because we will, be, we will have five municipalities from just the one municipality that we have at the moment. This will create jobs for our people, but it will also put these towns in focus for development as urban areas. Conclusion, let me thank all those who burnt the midnight oil for us to achieve these milestones. I don't want to forget those who've been working here day and night. They've really burnt the midnight oil. Our contractors here, uh, Riso, I see you there with the landscaping and making this place look beautiful, developing the park down there. I want to thank you for burning the midnight oil to ensure that we were here today. And, uh, and the teams, the county government teams, the hospital, everybody who's been working around the clock, the 100 days team, to make sure that we could have this day today. Because if this day had gone to after Christmas and after the new year, it would no longer be a 100 days report. We would be reporting maybe on a different matter. We consider this a good start. And today, as I've received this report, I can only promise more as we undertake the enormous responsibility of rebuilding our county. Let me wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of us. Asomu gino mabor, chagon wero kamano nu winje. Nikesh naka na asome mondo pinte unge ni homa be, wakete laini mondo watero homa be, malo. Korosani ang any one ka one gi jo two many awards, what waka o twelo matin mondo wa most gi awards kanyo, nikech bedo award gi Christmas besa morok gi my yot, wa most gi amosagi Christmas ni. Umba neno ka untie, nyasayo guedu, ori tu o umu, wabano bad sati, kendo watiyo. Wabano bad sati kendo wati monad. Kaka ne wa chiko, e kaka watimo, te kaka wabro timu. Ntie jo machungi chando reni tokoro ma weche ntie court ni. Nadu wani mwanda watch du ni. Uh, Loch mawa ntie giwono chieng ni. Nyasaye manokele. Toke ndo nyasaye mabrorite. Nyaka tunku mawadhi echa. Nyasaye uguedhu. Nyasaye oritu. Merry, Merry Christmas. Ero kaman. Ero kamano ainya governor. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Governor. And as you've rightfully put it, um, we made many promises um, that we intended to keep it. Yeah, so the first 100 days uh, um, in office has been very, very uh, eventful. Wakati our new governor, Likuja, the Honorable Gladys Wanga, to me on a very big change. I want to confirm to you that uh, since uh, Mama came, I think uh, a mother understands the family better. Um, we made many promises um, that we intended to keep it. Yeah, so the first 100 days uh, um, in office has been very, very uh, eventful. Wakati our new governor, Likuja, the Honorable Gladys Wanga, to me on a very big change. I want to confirm to you that uh, since uh, Mama came, I think uh, a mother understands the family better. Beloved Governor, 
Our beloved governor, um, the DG, honorable speaker, majority leader, Waziris, my fellow Waziris present, uh, members of the county assembly present, chief officers, um, members of the county, and the people of Oma Bay. Good morning again. Um, my job is very easy to thank everybody for today. Um, so first, I would like to thank Your Excellency uh, for your vision, uh, for your generosity to the people of Oma Bay, and for really, really pushing, pushing the team, pushing everybody to make sure that the promises in the manifesto are delivered. 